Okay, uh, this is going to be the first part in a probably, I don't know, two or three part video series on high intensity Orange Dream versus regular Orange Dream. Uh, the first thing I want to say is that this is not my gene. Orange Dream and high intensity Orange Dream were discovered by a really nice, super nice really, down to earth guy named Ahmad Osman. Um, I spend way too much money with Oz because uh, his animals are great and I am just, I, I love the gene, I love working with it. Uh, so for more information you can see uh, his website, uh, his Facebook page, there are some blogs, there was a podcast, uh, Snakes and the Fat Man did something with him. So you, you can check all that out for even more information. So now I guess from there let's get to this. Uh, let's get to what I really want to do. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because so many people ask me questions and there's so much confusion out there about high intensity orange dream. Is it its own thing? What makes it different? How can you tell the difference? So that's why I wanted to talk about this and, and I guess I'm gonna go right into it now with these two. The first thing you want to notice is that it pops. Both of these animals are pastel enchi orange dream. The female on the left is proven pastel enchi orange dream. The male on the right I produced here. So let's just get a nice close-up of the difference here. This is the male. He really looks like he glows. And this is the female. She looks a little bit better close-up, but it's not even close, the comparison. The second thing you want to notice is that both of these animals have pastel. Now why that's significant is because if you work with Orange Dream, you know that when you put pastel with it, it tends to turn out like this as they age. These don't. The high intensity Orange Dreams pop and seem to get even better and brighter as they, go, uh, as they grow. And uh, uh, let me see if I can pull this guy out a little bit, give you a better look. Come on, dude. This is a breeder that I held back uh, and sold a male with actually a, a male high intensity with even more genes uh, than he has. But he's just so remarkable, I had to keep him. He'll be my breeder this year. So he won't stick his head out. I mean, I guess you can see it a little bit there, the pastel uh, head stamp. But you can see just how amazing he is. And probably, I guess, for this video, the last thing I'll say is. If I didn't know better, I would swear this animal has yellow belly. Look at all the flames on the sides of this guy. Um, you can see the blushing in the pastel, which is kind of typical, and the head stamp, which is kind of typical. But there's so much color in there and such big flames, you'd be sure uh, to think that he had yellow belly. But he doesn't. And you can see the difference now with this female. Let's see if I can unravel her a little bit. You don't see the same flames on the side. You still see the same pastel head stamp. It's a little bit browned out, but when you put these two next to each other, they just don't even compare. He's miles ahead of her. It's like a, a different animal. The way I describe high intensity orange dream is that they look like desert ghost except with more color. They are a fun, it is a phenomenal gene and there is so much untapped potential I can't wait to keep hatching animals. So stay tuned for my next two, probably two videos on this where I compare more animals that have the same combination of genes when they're uh, high intensity orange dream versus regular orange dream.